This is Connie from Georgia, and she got something to say. Let's see what Miss Connie. So does. Nick, I'm enjoying your show, but my question is, why is it that obviously you've just left out of the dressing room, looking at yourself put together? Do you have to come out and look in another mirror? <laughs> I think that's so unnecessary, brother. See. You know what? She has a point. <laughs> Because I'll be looking in the mirror back there. I'll be looking in the mirror. It's because I don't want to make sure I ain't got no boogers in my nose, Miss Connie. Trying try to be the live TV. It's that self-affirmation. I grew up telling my, that's why we do, damn, I look good. We, yeah. Soon as we about to go to commercial, I'm going to look into a mirror again, all right? <laughs> Y'all, thank you for the messages. Keep calling. We have fun with the Hater Hotline. You got some criticism. I want to hear from you. 877-718-NICK. First up on the Hater Hotline, uh, let's see, it's Janice from Tennessee. What she got to say? Hey, Nick. Hey. I, your show is really good. Very positive, fun-filled, high energy. But why are you so thirsty? <laughs> it's all the time throughout the show. What's in that Nick Cannon mug? Is it coffee? Is it tea? <laughs> Or is it Hennessy? And her reminds want to know. She said... Spill the tea. Thanks, Nick. Bye. They tell me don't talk during the calls, but I got to talk. She said, did I have Hennessy in my cup? No. It's henna tea. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome back, family. Man, I love it, I love it. Uh, the energy in here is amazing. I say it's the best energy on TV, y'all. Uh, Regardless on what's going on out there in the world, you guys make me smile each and every day, and I thank you for allowing me to be in your home and allow me to attempt to make you smile, because that's what we're here for. But... We gotta be honest, I mean, we all have to deal with negativity and hate and low frequencies, right? You know, we, we dealt with it. And, but you know what, it's, it's interesting because I always say, if the Lord be for us, who can be against us, right? That's eight, Romans 8.31. And I literally believe haters are help and we don't argue with the help. We let them say what they wanna say. I am not afraid of constructive criticism. Yeah, like, it's all about turning a negative into a positive. So that's why I gave y'all my phone number <laughs> and opened up the hater hotline. Yeah! If you gotta wanna get something off your chest, it's like any, like when you go to the department stores and they had the complaint lines back there, that's what we doing. If you got a complaint, I wanna hear about it. 877-718-NICK, all right? Yeah! Phone lines blew up. Let's get this thing started. First up on the Hater Hotline is Marcia from Maryland. Uh, let's see what she had to say. Hey, Nick, this is Marcia. I love your show, but the only thing I don't like is the yelling. You yell too much. Your dressing is on time. You're really good. But just calm the yelling down a little bit. Hit me back. I have other ideas for your show. Thank you, Nick. I'm sorry, Marcia. <laughs> Marcia! I'm talking to you, girl! I can't have, that's just that, that's that Harlem energy in me. I get, y'all are so amazing. I don't feel like, I think, come, I, I'm, you know, I coming up, I'm, I'm being a kid with so much energy and I was a little kid, so I used to always have to project my voice so people could hear me, because I don't feel like I'm yelling. I feel like I'm being passionate. I'm just so excited to be here. So, Marcia. I'm gonna just start doing the show like this for you, bro. I wanna hear your ideas. Call me next week, bro. <laughs> That's the late night show. Uh, next up on the hotline is Anthony from Illinois. And uh, he, he got a little, so he, he fired up about the fresh. Let's take a listen. Hey, Nick, man, come on, man. You can't keep wearing all them big money suits, man. Look here, man. You looking too rich up there, man, like a $100 bill. But uh, where you get your shoes from, man? You can't do that old 1950 mixed into 2021 shoe, man. You got to have one color, man. One color, man. Make it right. 
<laughs> I love it. He sounded like he was hating and complimenting at the same time. I think he liked the shoe wall. Y'all make some noise for the shoe wall. Just trying to put my best foot forward, player. Y'all see him? I wear it. I got my red bottoms is turning brown. I got to... He don't like... Y'all like my two-tone shoes? That's... I think he was saying he liked them. He, he just wanted one. We go, we, I'm going to send you these. I'm going to send you these, player. These, these on the way to you. Uh, then a retired English teacher from Virginia is trying to take me to school. Take a listen. Hey, Nick, I got you singing in the background here. Your show's going off. I had taped it. At any rate, I just wanted to say there is another word you can use instead of damn, and it would be dang. You can say dang gone or dang. Dang, dang is acceptable uh, instead of D-A-M-N. So I'm just saying consider dang for the church-going folks who don't want to curse. Dang it. All right. Bye. Thank you, Miss Denise. My grandmama said the same thing. She said, I don't have to curse. She said, I could use better words. But, but she, what she said, I thought she was an English teacher. You ain't supposed to say dang when you were written. She said, say dang, darn, nabbit, darn, ding, dong, damn, I look good. I'm sorry. And next up is this anonymous caller, and he ain't holding back. Take a listen. Hey, Nick, baby. I watch you every day. You are motivating. You look sharp as a tack, but your pants look too tight. I want you to tell them sinkers and them designers to, to, to lighten up on your pants and give you some room to groom, Nick. Go, boy. You're doing your thing, baby. Love you. I watch you every day. You're the best motivating show on TV. Go, Th Nick. Hey, Nick. Thank you. Y'all think, think my pants too tight? I love how she said you, you need some room to grow. What does that mean? I'm trying to, what are you watching? Look in my eyes, ma'am. You're looking at my pants. Thank you for all your messages and keep them coming. The Hater Hotline is open 24 7. Call me anytime. It's 877 718 Nick. I can't wait to hear from you. It's all love, no hate. And up next, we out here dancing in the street with Carrie Ann from Dancing with the Stars. Keep it here. Butter, who used that, this is an interesting one. What butter? Current Damn, name. Damn, Nick, you look good. It's your girl Butter calling from jail, baby. I'm watching you every day because I ain't get out of school. But damn, you look good. This call is from an inmate at a correctional facility and may be recorded or monitored. You heard that? This call is from an inmate. We got a big fan base. We holding you down. Stay strong in there, queen. I take it. I take what I can get. Hey, I, I love all my fans. For everybody locked down. Stay strong in there. Hey, Nick, this is Sheila from Detroit, Michigan. Your couch. Go back and look at the tape from Wayne Brady and Dorinda Medley when they sit on the couch. The cushion so stiff that they other side of the cushion pops up when they sit down. Just thought I'd share my thoughts. But love the show. Peace. She's right. I noticed that when I was watching the show back. Like, uh, something about, I guess it's so, how do I fix that, y'all? It's a new couch. I just bought the couch. Huh? Oh, uh, it have look at, Boy, well, Cynthia, oh, she was, she had that thing flying, didn't she? <laughs> Mo, you got back there, the higher the cushion go up. <laughs> Cynthia, you can come over and sit on my couch whenever you want to. <laughs> Misty, like every, how do I fix this a new couch? In the, in the mid, fill it in the middle. All right, well, this is what we going I hear you out there, player. Y'all know I ain't good at this stuff. That's just to hold it in place. I appreciate we just I'm a
Ay. No. Fixed it. We got Becco from Colorado. Let's see what she had to say. Hey, Nick. It's Biko calling Bico. from Colorado. The more I look at that chair, oh my God, that you're sitting on, it's so ratty and toddy. And it looks like I just want to take my sweater shaver to it and really just toss it in the trash. And then you know, I'm watching Susan Lucci, and that couch is not worthy of Susan Lucci. Susan Lucci was sitting on his couch. And she don't like my chair, though. Oh, oh, that couch. Oh, that couch. That, well, that couch turned into a bed, I'm just saying. But, all right, Biko. Biko don't like my purple, purple chair. She said, y'all don't like my chair? She like, oh, that's, Biko, they like it. I'm just saying, it's comfortable. It's spin and match my outfit. All right, next up on the line, uh, we got Boss from Virginia. Let's see what Boss has to say. What up, Nick? This is Boss from Virginia. Man, you're doing your thing, but you got to take off them ugly glasses, my brother. <laughs> Lose them things. Stoop looking sharp. Shoes sharp. The glasses. No, no. There you go, Boss. Boss just want to look into my eyes. I don't need glasses at all. I have 20-20 vision, but I, I, it's an insecurity of mine. I be having bags sometimes, uh, so I just put the glasses on to cover up the bags. So you found me out, player. There it is. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's see. We got Rick from Florida. Let's see what Rick got to say. Yeah, me and my buddies have come up with a new drinking game. So every time Nick shows a picture of himself with his shirt off <laughs> or a picture of him with a celebrity or him turning that conversation about him, we have to take a drink. <laughs> the problem is we never make it to the end of the show. Drink up, Rick. <laughs> Rick just look like one of them old haters anyway. Got one of them old Bluetooths in his ear. He ain't talking to nobody. You hating on me, for Rick. Don't be mad because you can't take your shirt off. <laughs> Call you later. <laughs> and finally, uh, Carrie from Washington has something to say. Let's see what she had to say. Hey, Nick. This is Carrie from Seattle, Washington. I love your show, but I got to say, we can all tell you're not playing that piano. So <laughs> either your cameraman needs to not shoot that or you need to learn that basic tune. Love wow. you. Bye. <laughs> First off, Carrie, I do be playing the piano, doing the commercial that I'll get it started. It's a loop machine on my Serato because I can't play beatbox and rap at the same time and keep the rhythm. So I have to record it beforehand so I can get my freestyle on. But I'm gonna, should I prove to her that I can play the piano? <laughs> Carrie, show you something, Carrie. Call my tune basic. We wrote this, as, this is a great, let, we gotta let her know, don't we? Let's go. Y'all ready? See ya, see ya, I see ya sing along. See ya, see ya, I see ya sing along. Yeah, 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 yeah. I done messed it all up already. I guess you're right, Carrie. I can't play the piano. Yo, we gonna keep this thing going. Y'all, thanks for the hate of hotline. Keep the claws coming, and we gonna get it like this. Y'all ready? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, y'all. to be a hater, but who do I have to pay to get you a bigger teleprompter? Because, baby, you be squinting and you can't see. We got to get that together. You be looking too good up there to act like you can't see now. I'll pay to get you a bigger teleprompter. She said I be squinting because I can't see. The... That, I just squint when I talk. That ain't... <laughs> I 
don't even use the teleprompter. I just be talking. I got slanted eyes. This is how I talk. I talk loud with my eyes closed. But you know what? Look, I'll let you see the teleprompter. It's pretty big. Let the camera see. That's, I, I can read that. I have 2020 vision. It says, up next, Simone from Illinois. But maybe, Simone, you think it should be bigger. So, man, is this big enough for you? <laughs> Simone, is this big enough for you? My eyes, my eyes are wide open, Simone. <laughs> see the glory. We got the hater hotline. We do that on Fridays and people be telling all the stuff that's wrong. Well, y'all done turned the hater hotline into the love hotline. And I just want to play a few calls that I've gotten to that people that can share. If, that, if that's all right with y'all, I want to share some. Take a listen. Hi, Nick. My name is Miss Lovely. I live in Seattle, Washington. It was very um, emotional to watch your show today. Uh, you have our sincere condolences, and it was very inspirational as well how you were able to use your pain to help others. I saw your show today. I'm so sorry for your loss. I found your show very intriguing with the people you had on. I lost my son last year, too. I know the grief. The grief is terrible when you lose a child. This ain't a hater call. This is I feel you call. Um, again, I want to thank you for sharing your grief. I took a lot of bravery. Today on the Hater Hotline, I want to say I hate what you're going through. I hate that you had that loss, and I hate that we can't all gather around you and show you love, but God will pull you through this. Take care, Nick. You're doing a great job. We love you. Bless you. Thank you. Um... Don't let this fool you. The hater hotline gonna be back tomorrow where they be talking ish. Uh, but thank you so much for the love. It wasn't a message. Those were blessages, y'all. We have an anonymous young viewer slash caller. Let's check this out. Hi, Nick. I really like your show. I wish you had more kids stuff on your show. Please don't tell my mom I watch your show, but I love your show. Bye. That's so adorable. First of all, this is pretty amazing. I don't know if you heard what, what he said. He said, please don't tell my mom I watch your show. <laughs> Sneak and watch a Nick Cannon do your thing, young man. Do it. I couldn't, I couldn't tell if it was, if it was a, a little boy or a little girl. What do you guys think? It sounded like a little boy, right? Sound like me, mischievous, just sneaking, watching Nick Cannon. Having some amazing ideas, he said, he said, I want you to do more kids stuff on your show. I'm a big kid at heart, y'all. I keep, I keep some toys. We, I agree with you. We're going to do all the kids stuff we can do. That is a great, keep you youthful, right? But, young man, hey, keep watching the show. I, I like that note because I be try, I, be, I wanted to put a water slide in here. I got candy on. Keep talking to the producers. We want to do more kids stuff. Man, we could, we gonna go to commercial doing some kids stuff. Come on, y'all. I got me a hula hoop. Hopefully, this is enough kids stuff for you. Get this. Time again to open up the hater hotline. You know it. 877-718-Nick. You know, we turn that hate into love right here. We're going to get to our first hater on the hotline. Her name is Hera from New Jersey. Let's see what she had to say. Before December rolled in, right, you said you were going to get Festus. And I'm thinking, like, this guy is going to come out here and, you know, some bells and glitter on his suit and everything. But you came out in regular suits. What's up with that, Nick? This ain't I no regular suit. I, I do got, I got glitter lady. right like, there. Like, come on, like, you got to come with the kick drum on his suit. Let's go. I can get festive. Y'all, y'all, I'll, I'll put it all on. I got, here we is. You happy now, here? We here. What's up, player Nick? 
This is Dominique from Dallas, Texas. Look here, player. I get what you're doing. I dig it. We respect it. But let us get you a little bit more, say, step your fashion game up. It's not that you're not wearing the right suit. It's just your suit is not right for you. Turtlenecks are out, my brother. The big collar, the glasses, the goatee, let me help you get your fashion wardrobe in order. You can hit me up. I know that. That sounds like Steve Harvey. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Player, I, Chad, you hear what they said? The turtlenecks is out. We, we, we both got on turtlenecks today. He is so wrong. <laughs> Chad, <laughs> Chad, you heard it from Chad. You are so wrong. <laughs> well, keep rocking these turtlenecks. See what the next call says. I know that's Steve Harvey. Steve's going to be on the show soon. Look here, player. I know Steve Harvey when I hear Steve Harvey.